Delta country is a beautiful land in a natural state. We have a lot of water, it's a flat land. We don't see a lot of mountains, but we have a lot of river and lakes where we can do a lot of hunting and fishing. Fishing is really part of the culture here in Arkansas. And we have also a lot of agriculture, we have cotton, we have rice, soybean, corn. Steve Palmer Lou is a research assistant with the University of Arkansas Pine Bluff, or UAPB. Most of his time is spent in the field, working on the 1890 land grants bait fish verification program. The project's goal is to verify the recommendations for effective aquaculture based on the university's research findings. Most of the research conducted at UAPB is done in small research ponds of about 10 or quarter acres as opposed to commercial ponds that are over 10 acres. So we want to apply the results of the research conducted at the university into commercial scale ponds. One of the producers that Steve is working with is Harold Saul, a second generation fish farmer. Together, they've tackled some difficult problems, helping Harold stay profitable in the competitive world of bait fish production. So, what's the count? Here. I love the personal interaction with the farmers and really be able to help farmers and keeping them in business, and this is all it's all about. What they've done for us is took out a lot of guesswork. With the verification program, what they've done, they've uh, got us more accuracy. Coming up with better feeds, better formulas for feeds for us to feed our fish and grow our fish more economically. Naturally, if we can grow, get more production out of less feed, the better. They are the only research center in Arkansas that can, we can get a verification on our fish to be safe to ship out of state. And if we can't ship out of state, we're out of business. It's that simple. The bait fish verification program that Harold and others are involved with is based on the work of Nathan Stone and others at UAPB. The team has done extensive research with a fish called the Golden Shiner. Nathan is now turning his attention to the rosy red minnow. The rosy reds are, are an orange color with a little pinky tones to them. They have a white to a silvery underbelly. We'd like to have uh, nutritionally sound brooders, and then that would translate into uh, larger eggs, higher quality eggs, and better fry. Fry is the little baby fish, the one that just, just hatches from the egg. Well, we're hoping that it will reduce their costs and make them more efficient. I mean, really, the, the spawning rearing pond method, you get a mix of sizes, and it's fairly inefficient. With a hat, jar hatching, we could turn out even-aged fish and then get it go into the feeder market, or it'd be a lot more predictable for producers. Hi, Hi. How are you? For some, this exceptional effort may appear disproportionate for simply meeting the leisurely needs of Arkansas's anglers. But the economic impact goes way beyond the fish farms and riverbanks of the state. Arkansas is the leading producer of farm-raised bait fish in the United States, about 23 million by the census of aquaculture. But there's a multiplier effect of six to seven fold here in the local community. It creates a lot of jobs. Uh, the feeds that go into bait fish, things like soybean meal and cottonseed meal, are products raised here in Arkansas. And of course there's a 10 to 15 fold economic multiplier when you go to the retail markets. So it generates a lot of income. There's been very fast adoption of the, the practices from our research recommendations and also the farms are very progressive and so I think some of the yields and survivals have been excellent. We really depend on USDA and CSREES for the funding and the research support. It's matched by state dollars here in Arkansas and that's really enabled us to support our stakeholders, the fish farmers here in Arkansas. It's really what the purpose of a land grant is, and that's what we believe we're doing. Mm -hmm.